Have you guys been getting ads for this new makers filament that claims it's made in the US? Well, I have and I bought it. I'm going to let you guys know what I found. So at the beginning of this video, because I want to keep this kind of short in terms of how long it takes me to edit, I'm going to show you guys what my conclusions are that I came to. So one, the price of the filament was really good. It's like $14 a roll. So naturally I was like, well, I'm going to try it out. So here it is. This is a roll that has not been printed. I have just taken it out of the bag. And you can see here, looks pretty decent. And I printed with it. It prints decent. The other thing here is on the bag, they have headquartered in the USA. Now, when I purchased this filament from them a couple weeks ago, I made a comment on their post and one of their customers, I don't know if it's a customer or somebody posing as a customer, you never know these days, told me that it was made in the US. And sure enough, I looked up on their website and you can see here, I archived this on June 27th and I'm glad I did. You can see here, yes, we manufacture our filaments at our state-of-the-art facility in Virginia using the most advanced blah, 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 blah marketing link. So they're saying here that this was made in the US. So I was like, cool, they're a US company. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a shot. But then when the filament came and it says headquartered in the US and there's no mention anywhere on the box, the bag, the filament spool itself that it's made somewhere, that threw up red flags. So now if you go to the FAQ page, you can see here it's deleted. I'm gonna show right here in my chat with their Facebook page. So I asked them a while ago if they were looking for resellers. They said they were. I bought it back in August and then I forgot about it. So I bought it again. I pinged them again on June 26th and said, hey, we want to carry the filament. Can you email pricing to my email? And they said, can you provide an estimate for consumption, blah, blah, blah. And I asked them, where are you guys making the filament? Because the website says made in the US, but the rolls I got says headquarter, which makes it seem like the filament is not actually made in the US like the website suggests. If you can give me some clarification, I appreciate it. Especially if we're going to sell it, I need to make sure the information is accurate, which is a fact. Then they just stop replying. You can see here they've been responsive as I've been messaging them. And as soon as I breach the subject of the origin of the filament, crickets. I send them a screenshot of the actual website here and link them. And then mysteriously, after I sent them that screenshot and a link to where it is on the website, that page now shows, oops, it can't be found. So I've tried pinging them multiple times. They're not getting back to me. Now I'm going to show you guys a brand new roll because I bought a 10 pack. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. So you guys know I'm not pulling some shit here. I'm just reporting my information. So look at that. We, we got a nice wrapping. We got a little helpful card. We got the filament spool. And uh, again, there's the headquartered in the US thing. I'm going to go ahead and open this right now. We're going to break the seal. I'm going to take the filament out of here. You can see there's nothing. It just says PLA Plus on the bottom here. Oh, if my camera wasn't blowing out. PLA Plus. And there's no mention of where it's made. Nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere at all. So, again, headquartered in the U.S., not made in the U.S. So I bought this filament under the assumption that it was made in the U.S., and there have been other cheaper U.S. filament companies coming up at the same price point, so I didn't think anything of it. But when I got the product, that's when the red flag started going off. I was like, this is not made in the U.S. Like, I, based on everything I have, all the conclusions I've come to, I thought it was not made in the U.S. Now, I talked to people at Murph that are familiar with this company, and they told me that they believe it's coming out of India, which is also the conclusion I was leaning towards. Because when you look at new makers' reviews, the only reviews you could really find aside from one from filament stories are all Indian people posting on YouTube about new makers. If you also look at the Amazon reviews, because they sold on Amazon at one point, they also are all from India. So I'm putting two and two together. It's not that hard to figure this stuff out. Now, I'm going to give you guys more information because I did some digging to find out just how crooked this company is. Because in their Discord server here, 
Now, after I've been prodding them about the country of origin, now this new makers Drew guy is now finally saying some information and, and they screwed up here because they gave us dates here by the end of 2021 and they're claiming that they've been manufacturing it and selling the film in since 2021, but they're doing it in a 2,500 square foot warehouse in the Hamptons, okay? This, I think, based on the information I have, I'm going to say think because they're not getting back to me. I'd love to have this cleared up. So if you guys want to clear this up and I got something wrong and you have receipts, go ahead and contact me. But basically what I can tell is this filament has always been made in India. That's the information I have gotten. You can see all the billions of tabs open and we're going to go through here and I'm going to show you what I found. So you can see here they're saying by the end of 2021, so that's an important date, end of 2021, they're claiming that they were making the filament began production. They're not technically saying they're making the filament, but they began production. Um, they are saying that they are getting rid of their U.S. manufacturing, which is a truly bittersweet moment. And then they're scaling stuff down and they relocated to Lynchburg. Now, my package did ship out from a Lynchburg VA location. However, I wish I would have saved the box to see what the actual address was because there are order fulfillment services in Lynchburg, Virginia. This is actually a pretty small town. I had a guy that worked for me that was from Lynchburg. So we have all this information and I've screenshot all this so in case they try to change it. Uh, they also claimed it was initially called Polytech 3D, which I actually couldn't find any information on the internet about this. So we can see right here, there's a company in US Customs Records called New Makers India. And remember they said they began production in late 2021? Well, in late 2021, New Makers India sent a 1350 kilogram shipment to Uparcel Inc. Uparcel Inc. is a fulfillment place. So if you work with a place like this, you could be in another country, ship it to these guys, and then you have your inventory in the US, which is a normal thing. It's like what Amazon does, there's a bunch of companies. So remember they said they started manufacturing it in late 2021 in the US. I'm going to call BS on this because according to the bill of lading here, New Makers India sent over 1,300 kilograms, that's over 1,300 spools of PLA filament for 3D printing to Uparcel for fulfillment. Uparcel, all they do is fulfillment. So them sending this giant container of filament to Uparcel, they're sending it there so then they can ship it out from the US. So the second part is you can see here, we have now four more records for a supplier called New Makers Asia LLP. So if we go on import genius, we actually search New Makers and we get three different hits. We get New Makers LLC, which is at this one DeVore Avenue, Hampton, Virginia, which is where their LLC is registered at. So we can see here that this New Makers Asia LLP and New Makers India both have the same addresses. Block number 376, Surat, India, they're the same thing. You guys can see that right here. You can go to Import Genius and search this yourself if you'd like. Now, if we go to New Makers Asia's records, there are some records here for PLA filament and the country of origin is India. So remember the first shipment landed at that Uparcel fulfillment service in late 2021. We have three other containers here coming from New Makers Asia, which is New Makers India, to New Makers LLC in the US. And you can see they shipped 1,800 kilograms and it arrived on August 2nd, 2022. They shipped 4,300 kilograms on October 2022 and 6,200 kilograms in November 2022. This is a ton of filament. Actually, it's technically tons of filament. <laughs> you see what I did there? So here's the thing. I don't believe that they were actually making this in the US. And this is just based on the information I'm showing you guys here. I think that this company has been lying to its customers for years. I don't think they actually have an extrusion facility here in the US that is actually theirs like they're claiming. Based on just the volume of filament from that first shipment in 2021, then the massive other shipments in 2022, which is when I first heard of this company, tells me that they have been manufacturing this in India. Now, if somebody has in evidence to disprove this, please post it because I've been trying to contact this company through one of their reps on LinkedIn, through Facebook, through Discord. Nobody's giving me answers from that company. And here's the, here's the simple fact. 
if they were not lying about where the filament's coming from, if they were not lying all these years saying it was made in Virginia, then it would be a simple answer. Yes, it's made in the U.S. Or yes, it's made in the U.S. No, it's no longer made in the U.S. But that's not what they're doing. You know, don't piss on my head and tell me it's raining. I wasn't born yesterday and it really pisses me off when you have shady companies doing stuff like this, taking advantage of people. Because I'll tell you this right now, if I knew that it wasn't a made in the U.S. company, like their website claimed when I ordered the filament, I probably would have passed over it because I've gotten so much filament from other companies that are not in the U.S. that are just really poor quality. And one of the other companies that actually has an FTC violation and has paid fines is a company called 3D Salute Tech, which is a Chinese company that was claiming for years that their filament was made in the U.S. And I actually bought their filament and wondered what happened when their filament kind of stopped getting sold and, and they were lying about making their filament in the U.S. when it was really made in China. This is a very serious thing. As somebody who runs a company, I try to be very accurate about where our stuff is coming from so our customers are not being misled. But the facts are, when I ordered my filament and when many other people ordered their filament, they were claiming that the filament was made in the US. But according to all these import records, you can see literally tons of filament came from India, but they had on their website up until literally about a week ago, that it was made in the US and that is wrong. So if they can cough up some actual records and pictures, show me pictures of your extrusion line. If you guys had an extrusion line, you gotta have pictures of it at some point. Like you, you would have taken pictures of it with your cell phones. Like, come on. But my gut is telling me that these guys have been lying to consumers for years that they've been in business. Just based on these import records, based on the packaging that the filament's in, that's what it originally throw up red flags is if it's made in the US, you're gonna put made in the US on the spool, on the bag, on the box, but there's nothing. There's nothing mentioning where it's made, just headquartered in the US. So this is the LLC information from the Virginia government site. So I will refresh this so you guys can see here that this is a live page. I haven't edited it. I'm pressing F5. I'll even click, click refresh here. This is a live page. You can see here that their registered agent has resigned, which was a third party company. You can see here, third party company. And the name is Registered Agents Inc. So this is a company that acts on your behalf. But you can see here, the principal office address is this one DeVore Avenue in Hampton, Virginia. Now, if you look this address up, you will see that it is literally just a house. Like it is just a house. This is the address here. Um, you can actually find real estate listings showing the inside of the house from 2021 and 2022. And there's nothing showing any 3D printing stuff inside this house. No boxes of filament, no printers, nothing. Because you can see in actually the 2022 pictures, the inside of the house and it looks like somebody's still living there. There's nothing 3D printer. Right now this is just anecdotal evidence, but just something I found weird. Now, the other thing too, is they are shipping literal tons of plastic. I live on a two acre property and I don't even have the space to store that. And if we look here, this property's not that big. So if we go on Zillow here, we can actually see inside pictures of the house. So it's not like these guys are running the business out of the house from what I can tell. Like there's one room that kind of looks like an office, which is this one right here. And there's nothing 3D printer related in here. So somebody's clearly still living here. I don't see anything 3D printer related inside this room. And the other thing too is, well, maybe they're storing the filament outside. Maybe they have a container. You know, we have an extra container for storing things. There's nothing on this property. Where would you guys be storing tons of plastic? This little shed's not gonna store tons of plastic. What do you guys think? This just, this just isn't adding up to me. I'm making this video because as a company that sells filament and doesn't misrepresent where our filament's coming from. When people come into this market and claim that they're made in the US, it boosts their sales. That is a fact. People want to buy made in the US plastic, especially at a good price. And it's really hard to do because it's really expensive to do business here in the US. So when people like these guys come in, make false claims and feel free to disprove me, but based on the information I have here from the shipments, the dates and their own information, this isn't adding up. From what I can tell is that you guys have been importing literally tons of filament from India and selling it as made in the US. And I'm glad I archived that page because a few days after I messaged them about this, that page is just gone. 
which is really fishy. And they have not responded to me. Now here's the thing, with Facebook, you can see they didn't read my messages. You can see the messages people send you in preview. So they know that the messages got through. And it's really fishy that when I was interested in being a reseller, they were getting back to me. And as soon as I started asking questions about the origin, because I genuinely wanted to know where the hell this stuff was coming from, because if I'm gonna sell it, based on the information I was told from their own website, I would have put made in the US on all the packages because that's important to people. And that helps drive sales because people want to buy stuff that's made in the US. But if I did that, I could potentially be liable for false advertising if it comes out that they were misrepresented a product. And based on all the information I've just given you guys, I feel like they have been misrepresenting the product because where are those literal tons of filament that have been sent from that New Makers Asia to New Makers LLC that's at this address that's just at a normal house with nowhere I can see that could actually store that large amount of plastic. Like, it just doesn't add up. And I'm just putting this out here as a PSA. I will not be buying from them anymore based on the fact that they just stopped replying to me. They even deleted comments of me asking about the origin in their Discord server tells me everything I need to know. Like I can read between the lines and that's what I'm doing right here. So you guys can make your own decisions. Based on the information here, it seems like this company has been lying to its customers for many years, saying that they've been making their filament in the US, but the import records show otherwise. Maybe they were doing it for a short period of time, but that's a lot of filament getting imported and the address that this is registered at doesn't seem to have the capacity to store literal tons of filament. I have a big outbuilding that we run TH3D out of, but as of right now, I'm gonna call a spade a spade, and this is what it looks like, and it doesn't look good for new makers. So, please guys, like, you need to say something, you need to dispel this, and I think it's just more lies, because you guys said in your own post, by the end of 2021, they were confident in their abilities, and started production in a warehouse in Hampton Roads, but there's also a record of you guys shipping around that same time. September is what I would consider the end of 2021. Shipping a large container with literally over a ton of plastic to a fulfillment center. That's all I have. Hope you guys have a good weekend. And as always, happy printing.